say that a huge thank you to all the names on screen right now, the renegades who click the join button down below and contribute to the channel financially. Hugely appreciate that, my friends. Enjoy the show. And uh, welcome back to uh, I'm Suffer of Let's Suffer Together back in the mountains, my friends, and check the top uh, left hand corner. Now, just in case you don't know my speedrunning credentials, if you haven't seen the other speedrunning vids we've done recently, or don't know the general history about, you know, what I did overall, you know, in the Noita community, because it's been like three years. Back when Noita was in early access, I basically started Noita speedrunning in the any percent category, breaking the one minute, eight, nine minute, eight minute barrier, getting down to three minutes, and then got to my own personal best of two minutes, 33, and then gave up, because, you know, I went, well, I've done some all boss speedrunning and got under an hour, this, you know, certain personal targets I wanted to do, but uh, I don't really personally speedrun for clout anymore, shall we say? Because, you know, it's pathetic. <laughs> it, you know, it's not. It's, you know, it's good fun and human competition is what, you know, you know entertains many people. It's just, you know, I kind of watching... Oh, I just realised I'm actually doing the speedrun mod and I've just checked the timer. So I am not forced to be as fast as possible, which I, I kind of like this mod, right? It's called speedrun or die. I'm not forced to be as fast as possible. So I can actually get some resources on my speedrun. And you've got two minutes per biome, it seems. Whenever I go through this portal, as you'll see, it goes red. It goes red. Like, check out the top and left-hand corner, right? It goes red when you've got 50% of your time left. I mean, come on, man. <laughs> so it goes red at one minute, and it's kind of like, all right. No need to, you know. <laughs> one whole 50%. Ooh, nice. But again, you have to spend some time in the Holy Mountain, and you're guaranteed to spend at least 12 seconds here if you're walking at normal pace. So I kind of like this, because again, normal speedrunning is just get as fast as possible, and utilizing any techniques we know in the Noita community, like teleporting, you know, black hole in. However, this can go... This doesn't need to be the meta. I'll, I kind of like this, you know? In f a kind of... I don't want to restart because I haven't found the meta, you know, every first floor. Because that's what Noita Speedrunning became. And it's why I kind of left, you know, and just don't bother with it anymore. Unless, uh, the game ch changes significantly. It's just not worth it anymore for me personally. I just don't find it as interesting to compete. I find it interesting to, you know, oh, HP, I want it, I want it bad. No, dude, you can do me a solid here. I've got 52 seconds. It's gone red. Yeah, 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 yeah. Stay there. You bet. Oh. It's not long enough. Oh, that's what she said. I want this HP. I need done it. He's gone it. No, he hasn't. Do one more. Nah, I need to... Oh, lass, I need to... Can I blow that up? Yeah, I've got through myself. So I have a certain amount of HP and resources I can utilize as well to, you know, within the time limit to get through. And luckily... I think you're going to need it. If you want to succeed on this here mod, with a two-minute kind of interval, uh, biome, you know, to kind of make it more guaranteed, because in, oh, yeah, in, like, a speedrunning, we accept death all the time. It's one of those things. Oh, run didn't happen. We'll start again. But if you want some consistency in this, in my opinion, you're going to need to take those two minutes and find stuff um, to have a consistency because, you know, if you don't want to accept their death and you want to become consistent at getting, getting fast, and I think this is a really good training aid, just like I think normal speedrunning is. But this is in a mod which can make it a bit more, you know, instead of having to enforce the meta, it gives you a certain time limit. You have to kind of, you know, two minutes is very fair in my opinion. Again, we see a very excellent Noita speedrun about the five minute mark. If you, well, that's because you get the trophy for the five minutes. But if you get to 10 minutes, that's a very good speedrun in Noita for a lot of people. Again, it's nowhere near the world record pace anymore, but. Whoa! I shot myself. Oh, as long as I don't get Rex. Whoa, man. We've got 58 seconds. Again, this is it. We can get bogged down with. These pathetic individuals. I'm going to drop a bomb and try and... Yeah, you go, mid-air explosion. Right, they're bogging me down. I can't have them pick up that rocket as well. 
that big as long as i take out the small dudes and don't get hit by the big man ah yeah. i argue that was a complete lack of resources <laughs> so i like the specific time up it's just got a different feel about it and uh hey i endorse it as fun and good training and just a little different experience because you either get you know through or you die simple as really but in normal not your speed running if you want to go as fast as possible to your because being well trained shall we say in not your speed running i implement certain tactics that mean even if something is visible i don't often go for it because it's not really the meta you know it's just gonna waste time but in this it allows you to fill out a run a bit more i like it that way you know so I saw this in the mod section. I thought I'm dev. Even though I've done some speedrunning recently, I didn't do it with this mod, you know. So I wanted to showcase this mod, see what it's like. Because I had a nice little feeling it was actually going to be really good. Now, there has been stuff like this in the past where you're chased by a giant ethereal monster kind of dude. Um, like a big head following you. And if it touches you, you die. But this is a bit different. This is kind of timer based instead of a physical dude chasing you down. So the timer being ever-present, you can never get rid of the timer, you know? Well, I don't think you can. <laughs> well, unless you die. So again, getting some money, I would never normally on a speedrun kill enemies. It's just not profitable. I wouldn't even think about doing this little puzzle to get a chest. But I do have those two minutes. And of course, me being an absolute professional... Oh, oh it got me. Nice. And, of course, I've got... <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to get that money. I've got 10 seconds to get in the portal. But it should be here. There we go. Oh, the HP! I don't have time. I, I just didn't have time. There's no way in water I could have got through those six seconds to go. But, uh, yeah. All is well. Ooh. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Could get some random healing. It's not likely I... Oh, I did get tricked there. Dude must have popped him himself. Get some healing. I didn't actually take damage yet, but... I should kick things around. I should even maybe get a tablet, but... I'm not even sure there is a tablet I could get within two minutes. Apart from maybe first floor on the... The old right. But again, you've got to re... The timer being ever-present. I... It's... From what I've seen at the moment, it's so easy to lose focus on that timer. That it could, it just could just get away from you, you know, very easily. But two minutes is very fair because think about it in seven biomes. Ooh, think, ooh, that's a puzzling one because you've got two minutes to kill Colmy. Because you know how sometimes in speedruns, Colmy being the worst factor, if you make it down really fast, then you can't kill Colmy because, you know, well, within two minutes anyway. Oh, I'll, <laughs> I'll go for unlimited spells. We shall. Mainly because TNT is wicked, bro. I'm a big fan of the TNT. If I get the arc right, that is. There we go. We'll follow one way. It's like a quarter of the time gone already. All right, All right lads. I don't mind being hurt a little bit. I just don't want it to become... Right, I'm assuming... Right, we've got... Tw oh, of course it's going to... I'm betting, because in normal time in Night Up, if you're looking at a wand, the timer stops. So you can basically cheese a little bit, but everyone does it, so it's allowed, right? It's just a skill uh, to notice that or be told about it. <laughs> and then everybody utilizes it. Uh, there is in real game time. Sorry, there is in real... Speedrunners these days can use in real... Uh, what's the word? RTA. Real time. Ah, bloody hell. Actually, uh, no, we're at 48. Now yeah, we're still at 48, so you can check the replay as well to give yourself a bit of focus. Get rid of those sweaty bombs. But we've got a bit of time now, you know? Just a bit. Um, you, you could make a tragic mistake, right? You could go exploring with a bit of time left. And there's normally some potions up here. I'm going to be followed, by the way. But looks like we're fine. 
Yeah, I eventually caught up. But I feel like I'm not getting enough boost. Uh, Wand-wise, HP-wise, but in two minutes, what can you really find, you know? I'll definitely take the old... Uh... Oh, that's not a bad one. Got a bit of pace to it. Yeah, we go. Again, uh, just in case. Peace with gods. Anything that kills Colmy, you need, you know? In, you got to do it in two minutes. Yeah, I'm guessing. Right, so we're at 30, 33. It's a good wand. Yeah, the timer stops when you're looking at once. So, a little bit of something there for you. Ooh, no, we got to run. Oh, we're not explosion immune unlike last time. Yeah, just uh, make a bit of a mess along the way. Because the first thing you should probably do is make a path downward and then any spare time, look at the sides, you know, side to side near the portal. For anything like this wand here, Oh, and it's, oh, it is a wand. It's the nice little uh, Evita. Interesting. Uh, probably not. We've got regular bombs unlimited as well, right? So, hey, we got fifty percent of our time left. Time to find it. It's gone red. Ah. Oh. So while I haven't, I don't speed run myself anymore. I don't still consider myself a professional, as you will see in the title. Ah, I've got to get out of here with the HP that like like that. Oh, this is why, you know, this is why. HP management along with time management? That's a tricky little skill. Even for, I went there for a wand that I didn't even want, you know? And the thing about professionals in Nighter, you're going to see them die a lot, you know? <laughs> That's the uh, great equalizer in terms of people who play Nighter. Like when it comes to straight up amateurs, when you come to, you know... Experts. Well, I've got 6,000 hours in now, you know? I can do many a great thing. In fact, I've done some of the greatest things. If you check out my no-hit runs, I have uh, killed all bosses, got 33 orbs. No-hit run. I built a sun, for God's sake. Yeah, we, st we, all, we all still die, you know? <laughs> it's, it's perfect. It's what you like to see. It's like in Enter the Gungeon, where I used to do streaks. I just don't die anymore. I just... I always clutch up at the right moment, at the right time, because the game allows you to, in a way. It's, uh... There are certain difficulty modes in Enter the Gungeon where you will just, you know, die. Kind of like Noya. But it's not the base game, you know? It's, it's doing a certain challenge mode. Like, literally, it's called challenge mode in Enter the Gungeon, where, you know, you would die. Oh, this is really quite... Ah, oh, I've got the TNT, actually. We're fine. It's because the time goes red and the old uh, brain. But again, if you rush in, oh, it is what the game is all about. It, I'll, anyone who comes on the stream, yeah, you know, we stream at twitch.tv forward slash let's suffer together, by the way. Come and join us for some great interactive live entertainment. But if anyone comes and says, you know, what's the number one thing you would tell people to get better at the game? And normally, the first thing we'd say is explore make sure you don't leave a biome early explore it and get every bit of resource you can otherwise you're gonna do what we're basically doing here and we're you're gonna hit a bit of a roadblock where your weapons aren't good enough it's why i like speedrunning it forces you to you know train yourself to work with bad equipment against harder enemies and the result is uh death mm, a lot of death but when you do get that one sweet run where it all comes together oh it's it's, it's very nice you are working against the odds though hey yeah, these little dudes could provide a lot of HP, from, not HP, sorry, money. Yeah, we got a, we've got a minute left. Again, this is quite a short biome. It's kind of like the Heesey base in terms of shortness. However, the Heesey base is harder to dig through. It's got more metal. It's uh, less open space. Hmm. 
Ooh, I've got an idea. That's actually really good. I'm going to take this to kill Call Me With. And I'm going to take the Concentrated. Right, it's 13. Not bad. This with uh, Concentrated, an extra 12 damage on each independent shot. He's got a wand. Tag him a few times, it'll be all right. Interesting, because that, that, with the extra speed we've got on that, it turns into both an assault weapon and good digging. This is the kind of thing you're looking for that is just great straight away. That looks like a wand. And we'll spin... Ah! I don't know. Hook Bolt could speed up everything. I don't really need the Spark Bolt anymore, because the one weakness of Energy Orbs is they're really limited in range. Because we picked up the Repulsion, we've gained that range back. Hook Bolt could speed me up, as you might see right now. You see what I mean? The speed, but I'm going to run into enemy shots. But maybe that's... that's alright. No, I threw my water. <laughs> yeah, we'll just uh, limit their ability to make a menace of me. 51 seconds, that's perfect, that's fine. Ah, uh, yeah, I'll hopefully plan on getting explosion immunity in. Doing a good thing with that. But yeah, digging down is its energy orbit, it's finest. This is how I knew I was alright. <laughs> Especially with the extra damage, that's an always cast. Homing? Okay. We've got a bit of an idea about how this is going to go now. Right, I need to get out because the electrics... Someone's doing electric things. Right, um... I've got to figure out what I'm doing here. Probably taking that electric off the wand. Hmm... Yeah, having the electric off. Because <laughs> uh, I don't want to stun myself. Yep, that's cool. Because now this will home in on the enemy for free. It will slow down the shot, but I'll still be able to dig with it. Because the accelerating won't... Oh! Ah, probably should have taken slower... Uh, slower projectiles. And get within a range. That will slow the projectiles down. Could have been really handy. Hey! Yeah, that's that's really bad. Taking that level of damage. Not that nice, but we can really hurt the enemy with this accelerating wand. They can't do anything about it. Not too much anyway. Ah, I need to defend myself here. Yeah, that's fine. And now we're free. I'm not even gonna look at the wand real. Ah, get me out of the snow! I need to get to a place where I can dig down. There we go. Although it's open anyway. There we go. Yeah, first time in the jungle because Heasy Base is horrible for speedrunning. It's so easy to get trapped. I think we're good with this. I think we've got a good run going. And uh, maybe we just double up on the first shot. Not bad, not bad. Ah, uh, sorry, Sibs. No, we'll... I don't need mana, though. We'll get Hungry Ghost. If anyone shoots me, we might take... We'll probably get extra damage. Oh, made made twitchy. If I shoot, it could be... My own shot can hurt me, basically, and it's gonna waste so much time. Because I can't really dig. I've got no... Yeah. I've got no water. Here, I'm a night off. Oh, this is nice. Jungle is superb, by the way. Just for me... Oh, my face. Don't even do it. Good man. Yeah, jungle in a straight line. Yeah, I just want to get out of jungle. I'm on fire. So often. But I'm bringing in a few of my... Uh, oh, oh, nice. You know, some strats from just regular speedrun. I'm not really taking up all the two minutes. Although, you know, having those two minutes, it does allow me to... Nice, no, it's terrible. I haven't got enough room. Ah! There we go. That's really bad. Like, actually very terrible. All I can do now is run and hope, and we're not really going to get there. Unless I perform exceptionally. We're doing all right. We're doing all right now. We've... Again. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. I mean, yeah, I might be able to get away with it. 
I might not. Come on. No, I'm really screwed the pooch. No, I'm on fire and I'm gonna die. That was not a terrible decision to go down there. Just didn't have the HP, despite taking the extra HP. Ugh. Whew. A tricky one. Despite the fact we had several things that were going to help us. Hungry Ghost didn't save my ass. I'll tell you what, throwing that water potion was one of the single biggest mistakes. But if you are, uh, if you've ever knighted, you'll know and have done it before, and it will be one of the most relatable things you've ever seen. <laughs> Just in life. Hey, give me the money. I don't want to. Yeah, I don't want to go into the holy mountain poor. Hey, you might be able to buy a teleport, for instance, for like ten dot twenty dollar. You know. Give me some resource. I've got time. Ah, forgot I've got trick here. Oh yeah, I'll take another potion just in case. Oh, levitanium, not going to help me for speed ring. Hey, that's double money. Get some. Hey. Hey, everybody, double money. Oh, we've got 56 seconds. All right, more money down here. Ah. Uh, that money. No, I just want the money. Thank you very much. Uh, that's good. Yeah, we're blocked off. I like the force of the sense of urgency without necessarily being, you know, as fast as you can. It's got a lot going for it. That's such a simple mod, of course. Put a timer in the corner. If the timer runs out, kill the person. Oh, freezing. That'd be good if I can get some accelerating homing again. Oh, all seeing eye. Perfect for a speed run. You, you would think, considering I died to fire last time, why not take the fire? Oh, I've got two of them. Nice. But I do have water, and I don't plan on throwing it twice. <laughs> ah, this is terrible. I put myself in a bit of a bad position. Ah, oh, mm. I don't know. Did I get lava then? I felt like it. Yeah, these things are really bad at digging unless you stack them. The unstable crystal is weird. But we do get trick kills off them, so I can't bemoan them. But we can now freeze kick people. We can, you know. Anybody who fancies a little bit, freeze them, kick them. I'm on fire. Great. Freeze and kick and it's massive damage. It's great. But I'm going to have to put this one on to actually have it function. Switch these around. And we've already wasted seven seconds. Great. Yeah, we take the acid again for the boss fight. Acid is superb against Colmy. Although, an acid ball. Ooh, gamble. We've got to gamble, really. Ooh, teleport dodge. Oh, that's terrible. In theory, it sounds really good, but you, for the most part, like to control where, where you are. Ooh, it's slow, though. You see, that's not... It looks good, you know, theory. In a theory. <laughs> But it's really not. I'm trying to... There we go. You get a mid-air burst, you know. But we've already got nearly... Ah, mushrooms are great. The speed upon that could go ham. But I don't have any decent wand. Yeah, since I've got digging with the... I can get rid of the explosive. Uh, uh, you know, you just... This is it. I just don't like it. No one likes teleport dodge. The involuntary movement can put you in some really bad situations. Ah, oh, there was a bit of... I'm gonna get it. You know what? Stop it. Stop me. Oh, I can't. Stop moving me involuntarily. I know. I picked Gamble, so I have to take the repercussions. It's gonna be quicker to get down here. I just felt, you know... Ah. But then I found myself with too much time to spare. If you want to come through here, uh, certainly. I could always tentacle them. You serious? Get a bit of money. Is that a big man? Oh, it is a big man. 
Now we've got all saying I, so we can see what we're going, where we're going, what we're doing. What I need is a want. A good want. Ah! Ah! I could do. Take the HP. I could go with faster ones or faster movement, but as you've seen, HP can just get taken away from you. Ah, what's this? Ah, party bombs with a non shuffle wand. Okay. What, rock? What? No, I thought I was uh, doing what I needed to do. Ah. Yeah, blow it up. Do it. Go. Boom. Ugh. Why are you wasting my time? Having to let it recharge. You could you could teleport dodge me free. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> oh, it's so horrendous. Ah, mana and healing. I'll definitely take it for the one. Because when we do get through... Ah, oh, this is terrible. There's no easy way out here. Yeah? Okay. There's no easy way out, and uh, I stood next to a propane. I didn't even teleport dodge near it. So you can kind of... If you go back and watch the previous speedrunning video we did very recently on the playlist, you'll see how... You see I had a much better time with the old ways of doing things than I am doing with this. And that is actually a good thing. Uh, you know, I'm not actually... That's the kind of thing I actually wanted. A, a difficult adjustment period because a different way of kind of trying to utilize time instead of just straight up running is very different. Because I have the threat of death hanging over me for spending two minutes in a biome. On a regular speedrun, you don't have that. You can spend two minutes in a biome, which historically would be spending a horrendous amount of time in a biome for, you know, a, a regular speedrun. However, you can make up time in other biomes quite easily. But I don't have that here. Everything's two minutes. It's very... You know... Ah! <laughs> it's very... Ah, it's very... Ah. Yeah, I'll go with that. Oh I, oh, I thought it was an acid potion. You lied to me again. It looked, it looked green. Hey, I've got a bit of money, though. Again, just a casual adjustment needed. And it's weird, because two minutes is more than you would normally spend in a biome. Yeah, I'm doing worse. It, it's a weird one. It's not paradoxical, but it's close. <laughs> ah. E yeah. Take the high mana, low charge speed. N low max mana, high charge speed. And just slap any projectile on it. It's terrible. Uh, when you take damage, there's a chance... Oh, Revenge Rats is actually really good. I like it. This is a terrible one. Ah, the game seems to have taken pity on me. I would highly recommend them. Mod them. Uh, again, it's... Uh, uh, you know, because everyone needs more constant fear of death hanging over them in Nightmare. It's the one thing we crave. Eventually. Despite the fact we always die. On some level. Even the most professional Nightmare. Things, once you get too powerful, and you get, you know, very experienced in how to... From start to finish, build runs with a lot less threat than, you know, ever before. Runs like this just reintroduce, or introduce in the first place, a fresh little kind of wrench in the works, which can be very hard to adjust to, as you see. It's a really weird one, as I said before. Two minutes is actually plenty in each biome. It's far too much, actually, but... <laughs> it, uh, it's a weird psychological little trick, shall we say. With the number going red at 50% as well. Oh. Mm. Ooh. Even though it's... That could just be a fantastic little... 
Bang up. Yeah. Just nice and simple. Oh, basically we're cheating now. Just don't get blood on me. We only need to engage targets when we get seen. Oh, what are you doing? You can't see me. Hey, I think he was firing at the rat. Ah, I don't need bombs. There's a problem with this. I have gained invisibility, unless I get liquid on the cape. The problem is, if I try to engage anybody, I become visible. And enemies will, obviously... You know, it's, it's not a wrench in the works. It's a very helpful thing, as you can see. But it does have its own problems, where... Because you uh, have invisibility, you basically put put it on a pedestal. You know, I just won't engage anymore, despite the fact, you know, eh. Put it, put, yeah, putting invisibility on a pedestal works though. You know, it really does. Problem, uh, I don't really want to go. Oh no, <laughs> um, visible. I don't want to go through that portal. It'll take ages to wipe off the liquids. I don't really want to get shot as well. $169? Yeah. Oh, well, I wish I could buy some of that. Faster ones? Yeah, hey, I'll take it. Mainly because this is so good now. Although, um, I don't know. I only have one trigger. It's not 0.4 on the recharge on the low mana wand. But this will run out of mana. I can only use it in emergency situations. It's kind of like the perfect invisibility wand, actually. Because it will run out, but it will help me solve a problem in an emergency situation. Like, when I go visible. And of course, I can still dig, but if I do, I basically alert everyone around me as to my position. Ah. Oh, dear. This is problematic. Picking a new way to go is often, you know, well, that takes time. But digging alerts everyone around me. So, just go around. Oh, no. It's not letting me down. Come on, let me down gently. There we go. Just don't block me off now. Good. The lower down I can get, the more likely we are to... Oh. This is all right, because I know there's a nice little hole here. Is that all? Yeah, luckily we've still got many a seconds. Yeah, oh, that's annoying. I'm going to have to try and find a new portal, just for the jungle. There we go. Oh, no, I've got to. I've, I've got to. Come on. Beautiful. Ah, 62% water. Uh Actually, if I put con concentrated mana on, concentrated mana runs off quite quick, as you can see. It runs off faster than water. Oh, glass cannon with the invis and the drill. Ooh. Oh, dear. That could actually be insane. Ah, do I do it, though? 50 HP? Yeah, in emergency situations or emergency digging. Because I can dig and kill now. With the digging blast, with glass cannon, five times the radius of explosion. With the invisibility. So I don't need to be seen, of course. And I don't need to shoot. I just need a way down. And this guy is dug me one. Thanks, man. <laughs> and I've got, with glass cannon, the things I need to take everybody out. There we go. Uh, jungle is far too easy in speedruns. It's just big open spaces like this. And of course, in any situation where we get stuck, we can just dig. And with a... Now, when we come to the vault, everything changes. Because everything explodes, everything shoots you for like half your HP. Or more. Especially when it got glass cannon. Ah, uh, gold dust. Ah, uh, ooh. This could have healing on it. I don't need the damage, though. Ah, uh, we'll do it. I've got enough time... The E of vegetables gives me damage boost based on my satiety. Right, I need to watch out here. Yeah. Oh. yeah, they saw me, but... Oh, hold on. No, we're fine. Oh, it's a nice big downward movement already. This is what you want. Just big downward, nice... Uh, oil, uh, of Just nice. You see what I mean? This perfect speedrunning mapping. 
The Wang tiles are going hard for speedrunning at the moment. Oh, no. Ah, this is an open pit anyway. This is very nice. So I only need to engage if everything... So you see what I mean? I got down just walking in a minute. So I've got a minute spare, but because I've been killed again and again and again, I kind of really want a victory here, you know? And the game set me a challenge. All seeing eye in the very last. Nice. Right. I cannot use TNT anymore. It will blow me up. But we can dig, you know? Again. Uh, right, what I'm going to do. Fill my satiety. So if I need to kill, we can. I've got a minute and a half to get down the art. Oh, man, that's... It's a little troubling. That amount of time to get down the art running. And I'm going to have to make myself visible. Sometimes. Right, we go under. It's a bit trouble. Oh! Right, it's fine. Oh. I become over-satiated. Oh, dear. Oh. Is there a way out here? Ah! Ah, oh, there was the wood at the other side, but... Hey, that was quite troubling. Again, the panic. I didn't know. You know where that little... Uh, where, I'll show you. Uh, where is it? This little thing here. If there was a gap here, obviously it would have been fine. But because I didn't know, I had to jump down into it. Understand I was in massive peril. I mean, I suppose this way wasn't much better. Because <laughs> I, I was going to have to go back up anyway. And of course, using the terrain to my advantage. Ha going through there was obviously the safest because I've got, you know, terrain. Yeah, going out this way into a big open space uh, with the HP I was on, because hearty porridge that you get from eat your vegetables takes time to work. So again, certain safety techniques you use can send you away from the answer. Yeah, well. Again, night of speedrunning is delicious in so many different ways. That I showed before in the previous video. Go check it out, seriously. I mean, this mod is one of those that I think could get people into speedrunning. I think it's an alternative to speedrunning, and I really like it. Again, I've got a... Uh, I got wrecked, and I like it. Because, again, I am... Almost 10 minutes in the art. If I was not challenged two minutes per biome, this would be easy, you know? I probably would have got a victory. As you saw in the last, I got, like, what was it? Th 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 I need to go watch it about myself because my memory is shocking. I know I did well, though. <laughs> the times, hey, there were about seven, eight minutes, if I recall correctly, but we did some good, consistent winning. But in this, where the rules are slightly changed... 9 minutes 29, which for me isn't a good time. It's worse than what we did last time. However, the slight rule change just affects you. You have to adjust to it, and it's really hard to adjust on the fly for one video, you know? So that's why I sucked. Hey, you know, there's always a reason you suck. It could just be that you suck. But often it is the mechanics that are around you making you suck, especially, you know, in Noyo. Everything's out to kill you. Anyway, if you enjoy what we do here, you'll love what we do over on Twitch. Over on the twitch.tv forward slash let's live together. Come and join us for some great interactive entertainment, as I said before. Again, always love to meet new people, get in some good conversations, and have some great gameplays. But a big thank you to everyone who helps support what we do here. Again, it's only because people support the content that we can keep on doing keep on doing what we do. So if you do enjoy it, Please give a strong consideration to clicking the like button, subscribe, and ringing that bell. Clicking the join button down below is the names you saw at the start of the video. Uh, do on a monthly basis. And drop that kind contribution. It's really appreciated. It really is. Also in the description, you've got the Discord link for joining the wider community of Renegades. In the Discord, chat about anything, drop anything, post anything. Hey, best place to get a hold of me while I'm offline. And uh, the Streamlabs link as well, which is... Connected to PayPal, so it's the best for one-off contributions on top of that. Anyway, I will catch you all in the next video or stream. I've been really quite ill recently. I've been ill on and off so often. I've been drained, so sorry for the inconsistency. Sorry, not sorry. You know what I mean? 
I like uh, <laughs> sniffle, it's dying, weak, my leg hurts for some reason. Um, just so many individual little things that are just kicking my ass at the moment. Uh, hey, I'm glad it's happening before Christmas, before my birthday in December. You know, in the run-up to Christmas and everything, we always go hard. Anyway, enough about that. Excuse me. <laughs> just get on with it, you know? <laughs> just get live. Just do some business. To be fair, streaming and making content always makes me happy, always makes me feel better. And it's annoying when I'm ill that I don't have the motivation to make myself feel better. That's going to be the most relatable sentence of said all video. Because we all know how that feels. Anyway, I'm going to bugger off. I'll be hopefully on the mend, right? And I'll get my stuff together and uh, kick some ass, as we want to do here at LST. Until next time, my friends, take care. Take it easy. Look after yourselves. Treat yourselves right, you know. I'll uh, catch you soon, my friends. Much love. Peace. Uh, but a big thank you to the other selection of names who click the join button down below. The Pounders. Drop me a pound once a month. Again, it all adds up and it's all highly appreciated. A huge thank you to the names right there. Again. It's beautiful. I really, really appreciate it. I'll catch up with you soon, buddies. Have a good one. See ya. Goodbye.